I know it's almost the middle of January, but I just now got my December box for pre-cuts quilt box. So let's dive in and see what we got. Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video we are going to dive into the contents of the Pre-Cuts Classic box from Pre-Cuts Quilt Shop. I always stumble on the name of that store. I don't know why, it just gets me every time. But we do have our box from December. I know there were some shipping delays so it took a little while to get out, but it's here now. We're going to dive in and see what we got. Before we do, two things. All of the information about this box, the cost, where you can sign up, all that stuff will be down in the first comment below this video. And thing number two, I'm really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers in the year 2021. It is January, so we still have nine and a half months to get there. And I would love it if you would help me achieve that goal by clicking that little subscribe button down below. All right, let's see what Diana at Precut sent to us this month. All right, here is the box. We're going to take a peeky peeky any any. And that's what the inside looks like. There's some tissue paper in here. And I'm not going to show you anything else because then why would you stick around and watch the rest of the video? Let's just look and see what it is one item at a time. So the first thing that we get in our box every month is a little pamphlet that tells us about the items that are in the box. And I got to tell you, I'm looking at this and uh, I'm not hating it. It looks pretty good. Right off the bat, there's a few things in the documentation that I want to share with you. I consider part of the value of this box access to special coupon codes that are for subscribers only. So I want to tell you as a subscriber this month, you're going to get a coupon for 25% off your entire order, 30% off all quilt patterns, and free shipping on orders over $35. And those coupons, while they can't be combined with anything else, sales, themselves, whatever, they are valid from December 1st through January 25th. Secondly, the team at Precuts has a contest where they randomly pick people who have shared their unboxings with a special hashtag. I think it's hashtag Precuts Quilt Shop or hashtag Precuts Quilt Box, something like that. If you share your unboxing with that hashtag, then a random person is selected to win the next month's box for free. So this month, Cheryl Shepard from Maryland won her next box for free. So her January box is going to be on the house. Awesome. Congratulations, Cheryl. So the first thing that we have is a little bottle of flatter spray in the scent Pineapple Grove. They were super careful when they packed this and sent it out because they did put it in a plastic bag just in case it leaked or something happened. So it didn't get over all the contents in your box. But we do have this. This is what the bottle looks like. Flatter is basically a starch-free smoothing spray, so this can't replace like the body that you get from Mary Ellen's or adding starch to your fabric, but it does smell absolutely divine and it works as good as water for steaming. So uh, not a starch, but it does get the wrinkles out. This scent is Pineapple Grove, and I don't think I've ever smelled this one. It's all right. I don't hate it. I just wish it gave you the body that Best Press did. All right, bottle of flatter spray. By the way, this is not a cheap thing. These bottles, little bottles that only have 8.4 ounces in them, this is $13. Yeah, it's a pricey notion. Hey, if you've never bought one before and you're a subscriber, this is a great way to try that because you probably wouldn't just spend $13 on something in the store, right? The first notion that I've pulled out of the box this month is a pen. This is a friction fine liner. This is a marking pen. These are really intended to be more office supply, stationary items, but quilters love these because you can write on your fabric and you apply a hot iron and the marks disappear. Now here's the thing. Those marks do disappear, but the chemicals are still on your fabric. And so unless you wash it and the chemicals come out in the wash, which they may or may not, I've not tested it, I'm not a chemist, but if those chemicals don't come completely out, then what's going to happen is when your product or project gets cold enough, those markings are going to come right back. So just be really careful when you're using these. If you are making something that is never going to be washed, it's never going to go through a wash cycle, might not want to use this at least on the top side or the pretty side of the fabric. If you're going to wash it, eh, maybe you can. Although I feel like 
It's just as easy to grab my water soluble markers and those wash out. They are designed to be on fabric. This really isn't. That said, people love these. So you do you. If this is what you like to mark with, use it. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you use friction marking pens when you're quilting? In the box this month, people got assorted colors. Mine is in red. The retail value of the pens are $2.15. We have another Notion, and uh, this one's kind of cool. Very timely, very appropriate. We have got a face mask ruler. This is what it looks like. You can kind of see there's all sorts of information right here on the template. It gives you the size of elastic that you need to make them, and then small, medium, and large, who they typically fit on the back. It's got all the instructions for using this template and putting your face mask together. This template retails for $10.99. I actually carry the Creative Grids version of this template in my shop. So I already have one of these. I've used it to make masks. It's really easy to do. So if you're looking to whip out some masks very quickly, this isn't a bad template to use. Next up is our pattern, and this is going to give you a sneak peek into what our fabric is going to be, but that's fine. We're going to do it anyway. Our pattern is from Lala Boutique, and it is called Sparkler. This is what the pattern looks like here, and this is the back side of that pattern. The pattern retails for $9. It is a booklet with easy-to-read instructions and full-color illustrations printed on high quality, glossy paper. Definitely appreciate this pattern. I love her patterns. And this kind of looks, let me know what you guys think. It kind of looks a little bit like a take on an Irish chain. You got those squares kind of going crisscross. I like it. Ooh, I like that background print too. Oh, I love that fabric. So $9 pattern. And then of course, you guys know we got some Lola Boutique. Look, I'm saying it right. We got some Lola Boutique fabric. We have a full layer cake that retails for $41. And this is featuring the Fabric Line Folk Tale. So I'm just going to kind of do a little flip through here to show you what some of this fabric is. I always feel like I'm not doing the fabric justice by flipping through a layer cake like this. But... I know you want to see it. So I'm just going to go a little faster. And then I will put a link in the description box below to the listing for this fabric line. I believe Stephanie carries some of this in her shop. I think she's got some fat quarter bundles. I know she's out of charm packs because we gave those all away in a giveaway. We gave away three charm packs for this fabric line in a live a couple weeks ago. But I will put the link to her Fat Quarter Bundle in her Etsy shop so you can at least see maybe a little bit better some pictures of what this fabric line looks like. I got to tell you, I was not a fan of... I got to tell you, I was not a fan of this fabric when I just saw it in pictures because the browns and the corals all didn't really sit well with me, but in person, it's a whole lot prettier. This brown actually reminds me of like a chocolate brown. We've got some yellows back here. And it's the same print, just repeated in a whole bunch of colorways. You guys hear my work phone going off? That's fun. Should have silenced it before we did this. And that's the last one. So really pretty. I like it. I think we got a half size layer cake, a petite layer cake, meaning that we only got 20 pieces instead of all 40 in the fat quarter sew sampler last month or something. So got a fat quarter bundle of it now. I think I have a charm pack. I've got a full layer cake and now I got a half size layer cake. So got Lola Boutique's uh, folktale coming out of the ears now. <laughs> The last thing that I like to talk about is the shipping. That is one of the valued items in the box. This month, the box weighed over three pounds. And so shipping to get this box and all of its goodies from Diana's door to ours was valued at $9.15, which brings the entire value for all the contents of the box to $85.29, being that I only paid about 55, I think, which included the shipping. There's definitely a savings to be had here. And we've got 
some designer fabric that is coveted and hard to come by. So definitely a win. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you use those friction markers, if this is a box that you like, and what did you think of the fabric this month? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come on back Friday nights at 8.30 where we do a project live right here on YouTube together. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.